I gotta say, we've been anticipating the Six Flags Cedar Fair merger for a while now, but I wasn't anticipating a Six Flags logo to only have one flag. What's up guys, I'm the East Coaster fan, and today is a really big day in the amusement park industry. Quite possibly one of the biggest days of me being into this industry. Six Flags and Cedar Fair, two of the biggest regional amusement park companies in the United States, have officially merged. In case you don't know, there's Six Flags parks like Great Adventure, Magic Mountain, Six Flags Great America in the Chicago area, Great Escape, and then there's Cedar Fair parks like Cedar Point. Dorney Park, King's Dominion, Carowinds, Knott's Berry Farms included in that too. Imagine both those companies and bring them together. And this is a seismic shift in how the amusement park industry looks now, because you now have this giant chain of 42 parks. That is ginormous. Now when this news broke towards the end of 2023, I actually made a live stream when this happened just because I feel like I needed to talk about it. But I want to wait to do an actual discussion video once it actually happened. Because even at that point in 2023, we weren't exactly sure if this was gonna happen or not. It was gonna have to go through things like the government to see if it's not a monopoly. Maybe some stockholders would not have allowed this to go through. But everything ended up working out and we now have the new Six Flags Entertainment Corporation, hence this logo. So in this video, I want to use it as an opportunity to tell you guys what this is going to be all about in case you aren't familiar with the situation and what to expect, and then also give my opinions on it, what I hope to happen, what I may think will happen, things like that. But before we get started, if you like these style of videos, be sure to go down and subscribe to this YouTube channel. I make videos like this, vlogs, I do the Coaster Life podcast on here, all sorts of content relating to amusement parks and roller coasters, so if you're interested in that subject, be sure to follow down below. But getting back into the topic of this video, the merger. So as I mentioned before, this new company is gigantic, consisting of some of the biggest amusement parks in all the United States. But what does it mean now that they're combining together. Well, it's a merger, so it's not an outright buying of the companies. I'm not gonna go too much into the financials of the situation, but it's almost like if you squish them together, like I mentioned before. And in doing that, you're gonna have a mix of some practices. Take for example, Cedar Fair is really good when it comes to food in their amusement parks, as well as just a great atmosphere. But there's no denying that Six Flags has the much better brand image, and is usually more daring when it comes to things like buying prototype rides. I'll give you one example. Part of this merger is going to involve mixing of IPs that can be found at these different properties. At Six Flags, for example, you have the DC comic characters and Looney Tunes, and then Cedar Fair, you have Peanuts. By mixing those together, you can have more recognizable IP in your parks, and more people may be tempted to go. One I'm thinking off the top of my head right now is you have Kitty Kingdom at Cedar Point, which is a really outdated area of the park. What if you turn that into a new Looney Tunes area? That way you had Peanuts and Looney Tunes right next to each other. Or you could even combine that all into one Looney Tunes area and then just keep Camp Snoopy, which is honestly the better kids area anyway. Vice versa, you can take the theming that Cedar Fair has been doing on a lot of their attractions and incorporate that into new Six Flags rides. Like, I'd love to see that on things like Flash Vertical Velocity. And then there are other things too that are consumer-based. For example, they've hinted that they're gonna be offering eventually a combined season pass for all these properties, which is gonna be great. I myself am a Six Flags Diamond Elite member as well as a Cedar Fair Platinum Pass holder. Well, I guess it's like a little different now, but basically a Platinum Pass. And hopefully, with this company, a combined pass, which will still offer the same amount of parks that I have with two passes, will be under one and maybe cost a bit less? We'll just have to see if and when that eventually rolls out, but that is something that could be worth looking forward to. But something that did roll out today is the brand new corporate website. They were really quick when they said this was all going to go down on July 1st. We were all wanting to focus on Great Adventure's 50th birthday, which is today, but... Nope, business had to get in the way. Be sure to take a look at this new website. It's really interesting if you read all the details about it. And of course it has that new Six Flags logo. But one thing that was really interesting on this site was the new map, which is pictured right here. You could just see how many parks 
are now owned by this company and are within the US. And there are some other small things as well. Speak of the names, that was a bit of a worry at first. Where some people were like, oh, are they gonna rename either Cedar Point or Kings Island as Six Flags Ohio? We don't want to do that again. But the new company has stressed that it's not considering any name changes at this moment in time. But could I see name changes in the future? Maybe. I could see it especially for the smaller Cedar Fair parks like maybe Michigan's Adventure or Valley Fair adopting a Six Flags name, as that would potentially get new customers to come by. But then you have some names like Dorney Park, for example. I feel like that name is synonymous with the area and it wouldn't really bode well having a Six Flags name, especially being so close to Great Adventure. So yeah, it's a lot to think about and hopefully it all goes well. That's all we can hope for at this point in time. Otherwise, this video is gonna date itself. It's also kind of dated already because it's releasing on the first day of this whole thing. But anyway, let me know down in the comments what you think of this brand new Six Flags Entertainment Corporation. Are you a fan of the merger? Are you completely against it? Do you wish things would go back to the way they were? Let me know down below. And while this isn't necessarily a rip video per se, I'm just gonna say right now, farewell Cedar Fair. I'll miss saying your name.